Welcome back, maggots, to round three of your abuse by the hands of General Archibald and his boot camp of event hacking. If you'll recall, last time we left off with turn events. So let's pick up where we left off. And, okay, so you'll see that I've already done some work here. What we're going to do is we're going to have some reinforcements appear turn two, right before the player phase. So we have our event, and I'm just going to go over this event really quick, because you're going to learn some new stuff. So, all right, you know, let's just show you the event. That might work. A little bit of teaching, sort of. That's what I do, right? I'm supposed to teach you. Okay, so I got rid of the forced moving of Lynn. That's an interesting thing, but... Okay, so you see what it did? Is it loaded Paul and Jasmine. It displayed text and changed the music. So let's go over how exactly that happened. Alright. So... This code right here, Muse 1, that changes the music. And then you can find all of your music values. It's a list in your Nightmare module, so you should find it easily. Lu 1, then it links to Reinforcements, which is the uh, name of our Reinforcement units. Then we have Enon, which is always used after move and Lu 1, or Lu 2, and whatever other Lu's there may be. Then we have Text 1, which displays text. Now, 0x08, 0x0800 is the text ID in Fediter that we're going to use. So, let's open Fediter Advance, and I'll show you a little editing, a little text editing. How about that? Okay, let's find our portraits for these two Nimrods. Somewhere in the freaking game. Okay. 7E is Paul and 7F is Jasmine. I might have that reversed. Let's see. Yeah. 7E is Paul. 7F is, Jas is Jasmine. So we're going to put 0800 right there. Open mid left. It was 70. Yep, yeah, it was 70. See, sometimes I have those little brain farts. 7E and 7F. Okay, and then. Hey, Jasmine! I have to do that as a tribute to Zeld. Let's help the sexy girl. Because he made F Editor, so if I can pay him back by calling Lynn sexy in a video then I'll do it. It's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. So we just save that. Let's reload our game. Up the screen, hold on. There we go, that, that's nice. Lynn is loaded. That's interesting. That's very interesting. What the hell? Oh my god, I'm so sick of these little errors that happen in my videos that pisses me off so much. Okay, that's fine. Turn to reinforcements load all right. There 
we go. Uh, inexplainable error. I don't know why that happened. Hey, Jasmine. Hey, Paul. Let's help the sexy girl. Sure. Okay. So there we go. Now I have two powerful allies that can't use their weapons. Whatever. Yeah, so there we have our reinforcement event. So what we're going to do next, and what I'm going to teach you next, is how to do those little talk conversations. Da, 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 da. Okay, so these are character events. And here's what I said I'd teach about last chapter, event ID. So basically, this is the ID of the event. And once the event ID has been triggered, the event can't be triggered again. So we're going to do 0x01. Actually, it's good to start around 0x05. Because the game does stuff with like 0x012, and I, I just start at 5. So let's name this Jasmine Lynn. And then Jasmine is going to initiate the conversation. Because he is a player. Little player Jasmine. Okay. Then our condition. We're just going to leave that blank for now. Because I don't feel like it. Okay. So, Jasmine Lynn. I think we could have some silly music. Um. Hold on, where's that music file of mine? Music. Okay. Happiness Abounds is always an interesting song. Text 10x0801, just continuing. End up. Alright, so you see that? That is our character event. That is going to happen. Hopefully without error. Alright, Jasmine, you move up there. In the or oh, see, I know what I did wrong. Lynn T. My bad, guys. See, I'm human too. I make mistakes. It's part of being human. I hope you make mistakes too, because if not, you're a freak. Talk. That's always a fun song. And then, okay, so triggering the event triggered the event ID. So event ID 0x05 is registered in the game as being used. So therefore, the event cannot happen again. Now, why we do why we do 0x00 with turn events, like I said before, is that you either control it happening only once with the zero zero or you want it to happen multiple times by putting in another value so for turn events we just kind of ignore that but for everything else event ID is kind of important so I think that will conclude this chapter just to recap we learn talk events we learn music text and just had a good time I hope so I hope you learned something and look forward to episode 4, A New Hope.